I think I've talked about this before on the podcast, but I want to share this again. I'm going to tell you a story um, when I was visiting with a mentor of mine one time as it relates to employee performance, uh, results, execution, et cetera, regarding somebody that worked for me at the time. I was talking to my boss about this person and he gave me some coaching around it. And I want to chat with you about that. And it ties into results and execution. One of my favorite sayings is trying is nice, but we get paid for results, right? You always hear people say, well, I'm trying really hard. Yeah, well, that's cool, but we get paid for results. Okay. If, if trying is all that mattered, then I could go try out to be the quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys. And then I could walk up to Jerry Jones and say, yeah, but I'm trying really hard. So you should give me the job. <laughs> Cause it's more than just trying, like you have to produce. Okay. Trying is nice, but we get paid for results. Anyway, this ties to that. This story ties to that. Okay. <clears throat> so talking to my boss about Joey, who worked for me, talking about his performance, we're at dinner, having conversation back and forth. And at some point I say to my boss, I say, yeah, but you know, he's just such a good guy. <laughs> Ooh, man, that was a softball. I just threw it right up there in the in the air for him, for him to hit it over the fence. He looks at me and he goes, Steve, he goes, what the hell does that mean? <laughs> uh, and I said, yeah, yeah, you know, he's just a great guy. You know, he's a good dude. He's like, I don't care about that. He goes, I care about results and execution. He goes, if you want to have beers with him and hang out and go to the baseball game with him, you can do that on your own time. Okay, you and him could be friends, but he can't work here unless he performs. That was the speech he gave me. Classic speech, right? Uh, I think a lot of us managers and leaders, uh, we are tempted to hang on to people sometimes because we just like them, right? We like them. Uh, we enjoy their company. They're friendly. They're family. They're whatever, right? So where they've been with us a long time, uh, we feel some loyalty, et cetera, et cetera. At the end of the day, as cold as this might sound, it's business, okay? Businesses have to execute and produce to make money so that we can all get paid and stay alive. That's the cold, hard facts, okay? Everybody likes to think, well, we got to create this warm, fuzzy, friendly atmosphere. And it is important to create a good atmosphere, okay? By the way, good atmospheres come with good cash flow. Good cash flow comes with good execution. <laughs> I've never, I have never visited with a company that had a great culture and great vibe where everybody was happy when cash was tight and expenses were cut. Okay. This just doesn't, doesn't happen. Okay. Nobody's happy. I don't care. What your fancy slogan mantra is for your company, okay? Uh, I, don't, I don't care if you guys play chess every Thursday or you have a pinball machine in the corner. If cash is tight and people might miss payroll and people are getting laid off and expenses are being cut, pinball machine doesn't matter. <laughs> anyway, got off on a rant, but my, my point is, and I'll summarize this episode with this. I encourage you as a leader and a manager to... Remember, it's business, okay? Yes, do the proper coaching, do the proper mentoring, do the proper corrective actions, et cetera, et cetera. Do everything you can to help the person, retrain them, whatever. Do what you can to get them to perform better, but don't hang on to them just because you like having beers with them, okay? <laughs> don't do that. Matter of fact, when you terminate them, you can be like, look, Joey, look, man, I can't have you on the team. You're a good guy. But hey, listen, next Friday, if you want to go have beers, let's do that. <laughs> And there is your Rider Flex tip of the day.